Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, Hey everybody, I'm Josh. Hi, buddy, buddy. I'm Jace. And we're here to watch Nostalgia Critic. Uh, before we uh, go on, um, you might see me shifting a little bit. Uh, so I had a little bit of a work injury. Uh, we're still able to record, luckily, but uh, it's hard for me to get comfortable, so that's just what that is. Yeah, the positioning and the camera framing might be a little off this recording session. Also, you notice I'm probably not in my regular chair, which is for two reasons. One, there's kind of some home renovations going on that we have to, that, are, that we're working on. And two, that chair broke anyway. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I ordered a new one, and, but I'm not going to put together. But I'm not putting it together yet until the uh, renovations are done. But that's all I have to say about that. Anyways, we are about to watch Nostalgia Critic for Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. Fuck this movie. Fuck. When did this movie come out? 2017. I think. Okay, this movie, okay, this review was made at the end of 2018. Because maybe early 2018. I remember we went to go see this movie in theaters, and in the middle of this movie, I was sitting there. It's it's so rare when you're in the middle of a, I don't know if this is rare, actually. It's just, I'm sitting in this movie theater, and I was like, this movie fucking sucks. And I'm like, I'm like, fuck it. I'll enjoy it for being so goddamn stupid. And then, yeah, I was able to enjoy it a little bit more after, after at, at that point on. Because, like, the fucking... First of all, they got annoying side characters. Justice Smith is annoying in this movie. He's good in Detective Pikachu. He's annoying in this. You only saw him for, like, maybe 30 seconds in uh, Dominion. Yeah, I'm surprised they even came back for Dominion. Oh, fuck. And then uh. there's the... What is it? There's, like, the army dude who's really dumb. He's, like... Remember he went around and, like, took teeth from every dinosaur? They were yep. Getting? And then he went to go get one from the Endoraptor, and then... The Endoraptor just... But you use tranquilizers on all of them, but it's like, the tranquilizer on the Endoraptor, it only lasted about five seconds. And the fucking Endoraptor, he, he fucking... Remember, he's like, pretending to be asleep. Motherfucker looks and smiles at the camera like he's a fuck... Like he's a fucking cartoon character. Alan! <laughs> Alan! <laughs> uh. But the thing... Okay, I think I've been, I've been building this up for all these nostalgic critic reactions. So I had a fucking dream... This is my story about Fallen Kingdom. The, day, the night before we went to go see this movie, Jace, I had a dream about Jurassic Park. Oh, Jesus. And the premise of my dream was that you literally had to be brainwashed into thinking this was a good idea. Like, the the, the conception of this park as a concept. And literally... The concept like, of having a park. Full of dinosaurs. A zoo with prehistoric creatures. Yes. And it's like, you in the dream, you had to be brainwashed to work there because otherwise... You wouldn't think it's a good idea, cause it's not. You you really need like Ice Cube or someone to show up in these movies and be like, hey hey hey, hey! stop fucking with dinosaurs. <laughs> they ain't got time for your problems. They busy. Yeah, that's fueling, a... fueling our cars and shit. If you think about it, they actually have someone like mm. that. They're just not tough enough to stop these people from fucking around. Mm. Uh, Dominion was it's Jeff Do Goldblum. I'm talking about Jeff Goldblum. Jeff, Jeff Goldblum is in this movie. All of all of his. Uh, all the screen time in this movie was shown in the trailers, pretty much. It's so annoying. It's like, I why... remember me. Wasn't he like at like some sort of like conference, he hearing or, or something? Yeah, that's all he did. All he contributed. And then the fucking first of all, that dude. What was the dude's name? Like the bad guy who was like running the business or whatever. The fuck if I know. I know he's it's bad, and he's like, and then the the worst, most unnecessary twist of the whole movie when he shows up and he's like, "Haven't you figured it out?" Lockwood never had a granddaughter. The dog, the girl's a clone. Didn't you figure it out? It's so, it's, no, I didn't figure okay, it out. So that's really stupid. Okay, so that girl was in this movie. Yeah, she was in this movie. But I have no memory of it. She's a little girl and it's like, she fucking, it, it's such, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Ugh. Let's just get this over with. I want to hear him, I want to hear, uh, I want to hear, Doug, I wanna hear Doug talk shit. Let's go. It's too loud. Oh, why is it not? Why is it doing that? I don't understand. Yeah, it's 2022. I really need to get some 4K monitors. <laughs> Oh, mm. he doesn't look happy. Oh, I'm the nostalgia critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. My 
God, that was amazing. Even better than Shut I Shut up! It. I spared no expense. They're watching the first one. Apologies, but John Hammond is here to convince us why there should be another Jurassic Park sequel. He just got done showing us the first one, I guess. Just as spectacular as when I first saw it. Even after all these years, my God, how did you do it? I'll show you. Now, this is a Jurassic Park movie. Hello, I am a Jurassic Park movie. But if we were to take just one drop of the movie's genius... John, then. Hurt. Relax, John. It's all part of the miracle of lazy cloning. Hello. I'm a Jurassic Park movie. Hello, Jurassic Park movie. I'm Hello, see if I can fix I'm the, uh, a sound blaster. Hello, Jurassic Park movie. By creating the same thing over and over with a drop of the original genius, we can have as many Jurassic Parks as we want. Remarkable. Remarkably remarkable. The lack of humility before great filmmaking that's being displayed here staggers me. Oh, my God. Nah. Yeah, I just want to relive my nostalgia without questioning why I'm a social media addict who doesn't like change. Now, 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 let him talk. I want to hear everybody's viewpoint before I automatically disagree with Oh, him. shit, you made it so loud. Danger. That's what you're right? doing here. Yeah. Jurassic Park like is one of the coolest, here. most groundbreaking movies ever made. I mean, and using that like Google Chrome extension kind of has a stack. I don't think you're giving our sequels enough credit. <laughs> Haven't you noticed each sequel is getting dumber with every clone? Duh, uh, I'm Jurassic Park 3. I put numbers in the titles now. Die, I'm Jurassic Wild. Somehow not saying Park <laughs> makes me a reboot. It's like the Michael Keaton movie from the 90s. 90s, no one remembers. The paper? No. Speechless? No. My life? No. Desperate measures? No. Jack, Jack Frost? No. Yes! Nothing? No. One good cop? No. Pacific Heights? No. Speech Multiplicity? That's the one. Oh, come on. Each sequel has a ton of great scenes. Two. <laughs> huh? Two great scenes. That's what our scientists figured out. You only need two great scenes to keep people coming back. Lost World had the glass breaking and the T-Rex running in the city. Three had the pterodactyls and the T-Rex fight. And World had the opening and all that ending with the T-Rex. Oh, mommy, look at the T-Rex. And then she's running around in her high heels. And then Blue comes out of nowhere. And before you know it, the Meg jumps out of the water and then chomp. And everybody's applauding, going, goodness gracious me. So by having only two good moments, we can have the same idiot characters doing the same idiot things and nobody cares. You stood on the shoulders of geniuses to accomplish something as fast as you could. And Wait a minute. you even knew what you had. You patented it and packaged it and slapped down a plastic lunchbox and now you're selling it. You're selling it. Well, does anyone else feel weird that he's getting the Ian Malcolm dialogue? Because my name is literally Malcolm. How long is it going to take before doing the exact same thing over and over doesn't lead to two great scenes anymore? Um, I hate to interrupt, but what are your sequels doing? Grunt? Grunt! No, 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 no! You cannot beat that much! I knew it. They're devouring the original, so now there's nothing original left. It's like that terrible 90s movie with the awful CGI. Deep Rising? No. The Relic? No. Lost in Space. I don't understand! These shitty sequels still make money! Yeah, but you got so occupied thinking if you could, you never bothered to think if you should. Again. Literally, Malcolm. I just don't know how this is possible. Well, this is just like what happened with today's movie, Jurassic Park well, Falling Kingdom. obviously, we all knew you were making that comparison. Well. That's why we're here. Did you love the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Yes. Will you tell us? No. Oh. Aww. It may have made a lot of money, but Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom has left a lot of viewers asking, what the heaping pile of dinosaur shit were they thinking? Not only does it have little to nothing new in it, but the idiotic decisions made in this movie are so massive and so mind-blowing that you feel like that one pilot in Return of the Jedi. There's too many of them. Along with false advertising, making it look like the film was about the dinosaurs being released on the public when it's really just the last few minutes. This duped audiences, pissed off critics, and yet still made a bundle at the box office because dinosaurs are like dangling keys to us. Just keep waving them in front of our faces and we'll keep forgetting what a lazy, repetitive form of entertainment they are. So as long as there's still people optimistic enough to have hope for these movies... Oh god, did those sequels just belch up a hungover Jeff Goldblum? Spared no expense. We'll always be here to review it. Let's take a look at Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Gross. The film opens up with an inspiring idea that no Jurassic Park film has ever tackled before. Nah, just kidding. It opens with dinosaurs attacking people like always. Why the fuck does it eat the These submarine? Guys are sneaking into the now closed park due to reconstruction and peeling tourists out of teeth. As they know this is a dangerous and illegal mission, so they smartly bring no weapons at all. What? 
What does this mean? I don't know what this means. What does this mean? Is this a gang sign? Are you in a gang? Don't join a gang. <laughs> hey, look, the T-Rex. Oh. Yeah, it's not even really a big deal anymore. In the first one, she almost outruns a jeep. In the second one, she can't catch up to a crowd of people. In this one, she can't catch up with Homer Simpson's voice actor. I'm oh, a mother <laughs> ah, who cares? I made it! Okay, never laugh in a survival film unless you want your obvious death to be yep. accompanied by... <laughs> <laughs> In this movie, I'm on Jeff Goldblum's side. Real in this like, let them fucking die. Yeah. Kill the dinosaurs. Latin gibberish to frame the gigantic size of Jeff Goldblum's ego. I think we should allow our glorious dinosaurs to be taken out by the volcano. As a dinosaur myself, I wish to be put out of my misery. <laughs> Jesus. It looks like a volcano is about to take out the island of dinosaurs, and the debate rages whether or not it's ethical to save them or let them die. As well as the debate of, did Jeff Goldblum just read the script and only now while saying the lines realize how stupid it is? I'm talking about man-made cataclysmic change. What kind of change? Change is like death. A is that really what I'm saying? I I'm a scientist and that's why I'm saying, okay, whatever, death. Change is like death. Cut to the real heroes of this movie, hipsters. Oh, you think uh, I'm joking? They have a whole office of SJWs researching what to be offended by next. And good news, you have the whole movie with them. As the original owner of the park, Claire, played again by Bryce Dallas Howard, leads a group of shady the owner, I don't remember that. for the safety of the dinosaurs. But they get some bad news. The committee has resolved not to recommend any legislative action regarding the de-extinct creatures on Isla Nublar. They said this was literally done just to shut Jeff Goldblum up. So as you can imagine, this is a real big blow to Claire. Or the music indicates things are good. Who said this movie was tone deaf? She's brought to John Hammond number two. That's honestly what he is. Didn't you know? John Hammond had a super close business partner he never talked about in any of the other movies. And if for some reason you're confused as shit by that, don't worry. This incredibly forced exposition, oh, I mean totally natural human talk, will clear things up. We actually met once seven, eight years ago, and you don't remember. Hammond and Lockwood built a custom lab in the sub-basement. Haven't you run his foundation since? Since college, yeah. Extracted the first DNA from Amber right beneath our feet. He wanted someone young and uh, idealistic to spend his fortune. John Alfred Hammond, father of Jurassic Park. And of course you knew that. Oh my god, did you really just spell out who John Hammond is? Like the audience is that stupid? John Alfred Hammond, and of course you knew that. This is a dinosaur, but you already knew that. These are teeth, but you already knew that. This is paper. Paper. We're just talking how people normally talk. Paper. This is how we normally talk. Hammond's partner is Ben Lockwood, played by James Crumwell. By God, Bay Pig in the city wasn't kind to him. John said it best. These creatures don't need our protection. They need our absence. This guy. Into anal fist nature. This guy knew what he was doing. Yep. He's like, he wants to save them. And he's like, I'm only going to be filming for two days, and you know what? I'm not even standing up for the movie. <laughs> we ever interfere with these? <laughs> give me it they want you in the movie. Okay, give me a wheelchair. I'm not. I'm not Sir? standing. I'm not standing. Radio frequency ID chips in each dinosaur. I remember. I know. We're establishing how bad the writing is. There is one that poses a real challenge for us. Blue is potentially the second most intelligent piece of life on this planet. We honestly should have let her write the screenplay. Damn. Of course, there's only one person who can connect with Blue, and that's her trainer, Owen, played again by Chris Pratt. I was Groot. Well, it shouldn't be too tricky to get him on board, seeing how those two were an item from the last movie. <laughs> oh no, they twisted it! Oh no, no, Ghostbusters 2. Oh, they Ghostbusters 2. two and yes! You know that dumb shit where they break up the couple for absolutely no reason except to get them back again in the sequel? Cause new ideas are for people who want to think. I'm honestly surprised they didn't break up again in the third movie. A divorced couple that constantly acts like a divorced couple should clearly be together. I left you. You are so stubborn. Well, look at you now, you're saving the world. Yeah, that's the line that deserved the super over the top laugh. Look at you now, you're saving the world. <laughs> He's like, why are you laughing? You're just gonna let her die? Well, yeah. I got a band I'm starting anyway called Mouse Rat. I really think it's gonna take off. Nice. Meanwhile, the countryside's so cliche, they actually put in a shooting star. Make a wish! Maybe they'll clone Samuel L. Jackson! We see where Fucking the real shooting star lies. 
Oh, that's cute. Okay. Hmm, Mr. Owen Blue. Guess it does have a nice ring to it. What? So he surprises her on the plane heading towards the island. Franklin, weird. Didn't think you were gonna ever show up. Well, I have to change a million things to account for another person, supplies, rations, and so forth, but thanks for surprising me, asshole. Don't worry, though. Our duo of self-righteous Lisa Simpsons will bring the last. <laughs> More likely die riding on a horse than in a plane. I would never get on a horse. I won't get on a horse. My chances are zero. This is just like when we got in the argument of whose screenplay represented the evils of capitalism better. Meanwhile, back at Lockwood's house. Oh, yeah, I'm really scared something's gonna happen and it's not just a fake out. I don't know. I think one of those statues are gonna move. <laughs> This is well, she's a, well, she's a clone like the dinosaur, so it's like a dinosaur jumped out and got it. Car crash. I don't want a bath. Queen's English girl. Bath. 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 You're not a wild animal. <laughs> it doesn't matter dinosaur! if you're an actress you are, honey. You will be the worst part of this movie. You have your mother's wicked sense of humor. Do I look like her? Oh, yes. Well, we took enough notes to make sure. I mean, uh, what strong genes? <laughs> Not playing this goddamn music again. Nice. Oh my god. Bugs for? Bug spray? Oh, 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 those guys are gonna want bug spray. <laughs> you just don't get it. The T Rex would be dead by now, right? <laughs> they, they sat him in between like two big guys with guns and tattoos and biceps. Did you want some bug spray? That? Did you get that he's afraid of the T-Rex? We know we have to spell out a lot for you, so here it is again. So she'd be dead by now. Right? Oh, 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 oh how frightfully witty. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 when get a load of this. That's the first dinosaur the dinosaur medic has ever seen. Yes. Never thought I'd see one in real life. That's like a veterinarian never seeing an animal. Why did you bring her? You have a shit ton of money. Were there no other dinosaur medics when this part God, was this open? is dumb. Or did they just not have the badass woke blogger spunk that she had? These people are woke, Jace. They're not canceled on Twitter. These are powerful sedatives. One too many and she could have respiratory failure. Also, I'm not as soft and witless as your comment implies. Well, at the risk of questioning the towers of conventional cliché this movie is breaking down, I will ask the same question I asked in Van Helsing. <clears throat> when does she get kidnapped? Fight the good fight, Wonder Woman. Fuck. They come across the original car that fell with Dr. Grant and Timmy in it. Guess they moved the giant wall but forgot the car. As they locate Blue but open fire too early. Wait, wait, you son of a bitch! Cool, so a dart they just said could possibly kill a dinosaur just knocks out Chris Pratt, providing a comedically goofy moment when the volcano explodes oh and he has God. to numb his body to outslither the lava. That's lava! He should be like bursting into flames right now. While Chris Pratt pretending to be Mr. Bean playing the ground is literally oh. like it's supposed to be funny. I yeah, he lost the he has a lot of lost the figure. It's it's not like the like floor is lava, as long as you don't touch it, you're oh fine. Oh god, these two are still okay. It's the T-Rex, it's the T-Rex, it's the T-Rex, Claire, it's the T-Rex, it's the T-Rex, it's the T-Rex. Stop, it's not the T-Rex. Abbott, are you sure there's no T-Rexes down here? Good thing instinctual dinosaurs are just as stupid about staying away from lava. We made it! Yeah! Wah, <laughs> Yep. Yeah, go up, you dumbass. He turns around. Go up. Go up. Christ, even Shaggy and Scoopy are making fun of what a coward you are. Bro, what a pussy. <laughs> Bro, what a pussy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, this movie can kill tons of people, but it can't say the S word. The cementing of the PG-13 genius continues. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Oh, come. Bullshit! Knock him down! Oh. Okay. I thought that only worked with Coke machines and Dennis Rodman. Oh, my <laughs> God. Get in! 
No, no, I have to stand still slowly. Oh, this fucking then garbage. Stare blankly at it rather than take a millisecond to step inside. They can't track you if you act really stupid. But the T-Rex makes her big entrance. It. Why are you pausing? I'm pausing this one. Jace, what is this? What is this T-Rex thinking? All the dinosaurs are running away from the volcano, right? Look at me. 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 I'm sorry. I'm just not realizing why the volume was so low. Oh, because I turned God. it down. You turned it down! It was so quiet. It was so loud. I'll turn it up a little bit. All right. So... What is this T-Rex thinking? It's like, it's like, the oh no, the volcano is, the volcano is erupting. I'm running for my life, I'm running for my life. Fuck this guy! Roar! Okay, back to running for my life. <laughs> Fuck this guy in particular! Back to running for my life. It's so dumb! Why? But the T-Rex makes her big entrance. Which we already saw, so it's not a big deal, but man, they try to make it one. <laughs> she really is a drama queen. She's like the ultimate photo bomber. I can totally see a post on her Instagram being like, Oh my god, guys. I just happened to be roaring for no reason when a volcano totally erupted. What are the chances, right? Like and follow or I'll eat you. Bye! We then get, to the film's credit, the only good suspenseful scene where Claire and Franklin almost drown. But yeah. maybe I love it because Claire and Franklin almost drown. <sighs> One of the best scenes in the whole movie. Out and they see the but there's no dinosaurs! Taken captive. Too bad it's such a long distance away and they couldn't possibly walk there. So they walk there in seconds and find the men are kidnapping the dinosaurs for their own terrible means. Oh, oh, yeah. We're just fucking it up and we'll call it on. Let's go. Continue to be late 90s Disney villains and talk about how you're only interested in the money. I want that money in the bank by the time I get back. I want that bonus. We got the blue one. I want my bonus. Oh, and be sure to take a dumb as shit. trophy to Women have a collection, even though a freaking volcano is exploding in seconds count. Priorities, man. You're gonna feel that when you wake up. This'll make a great necklace for my woman's suit. Our heroes goddamn jump from an island onto the boat while driving a truck, and nobody seems to notice. Oh, I see. It's because she wore a hat. That instantly disguises the one of the MCU way of the world hiding in public. While. Hey, isn't that the lady who owned the park we were just sent to pillage? But she's got a new hat. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> then why is nobody recognizing those two? They don't have mind cloaking hats like she does. They were pretty high up in the mission's totem pole. Oh, excuse me, miss. We're in the middle of filming. I'm gonna need you to clear out. Critic, it's me. Tamara! Where did you come from? Did you see that random stranger wearing a hat? Critic, it's me. Witchcraft! The logic of Fallen Kingdom has not led me astray. Let me try something. Tamara, what are you doing here? Malcolm, when did you turn into a white woman? Okay, I need a shot or something. <laughs> what the fuck? In keeping with the film's <laughs> flawlessly constructed tone, the dinosaurs that were trying to kill everybody and you were supposed to be afraid of were immediately supposed to feel sorry for now. I know, right? It, it doesn't make any sense. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, don't care. I don't oh, care. Like that incredibly smooth transition they had in the first film. Can I touch it? Sure. Just think of it as kind of a big cat. It's a roller coaster of emotion. That's not yet finished, but you're writing anyway. <laughs> oh shit! No, that can work. It uses the momentum. No, 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 no! You can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't count for the weight of the people. House, Macy sees two men in suits talking business. Ooh, well this would entice any seven-year-old's attention. Gotta check this out. Our geneticists have created a direct descendant of the animal that took down Jurassic World. It follows human command. Ah, you're making another dinosaur based on the one you couldn't control before that destroyed an entire park. I see no problems here. Proceed. Nope. Macy no problems. Tries to let her grandfather know what's going on. They're going to sell the dinosaurs. They're bringing them here. I'm sure you misunderstood. I know what I heard, Grandpa. Maisie, it's way past your bedtime. You were just like this the first time you were this age. Our heroes find Gia and try to help her fix up Blue, who was injured. Franklin, take over for Claire. No, 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 no. Oh my god, is that my mouth? Did you get my mouth? Oh, 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 oh. Ah! She says Blue needs a blood transplant, and the only one that'll work is, of course, from the T-Rex. Okay, I don't know much about dinosaurs, and judging by the fact she's never seen one, I don't think she does either, but Damn. is getting the blood from two very different animals the same? 
If a cat is injured, would blood from a lion work just as well? No. Jacqueline, what do you think? Boom! The T-Rex, of course, wakes up. They don't realize they can just stay behind her to be safe. And they attempt a crazy escape to get the blood back. Meanwhile, back at Lockwood's, a... I guess big surprise is made. Dr. Wu is helping them weaponize the dinosaurs. Blue's DNA will be part of the next Indoraptor's makeup. When did this guy go from just the person next to the dinosaur eggs to the world's biggest DNA splicing supervillain? I'll tell you exactly when, this nod. That nod was up to something. I've got to warn Uncle Gadget. Of course, they figure out that Maisie knows about their super illegal diabolical Watch this. Look at this, so look at this tunnel, right? Give her a timeout. Right? And at the end was the cage that had the Indoraptor. Wait. Oh, come mark that in your brain. think about how weaponizing endangered species can benefit you. Hey, look, they like each other again. Yeah, seeing how their chemistry made no sense and was out of nowhere in the last movie, I guess it makes sense to do it once more. But wait, this is a movie starring douchey hipsters. Painfully forced Trump joke. Take your own damn samples. What a nasty woman. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stephen Colbert, SNL, and countless internet memes. You need to retire. Jurassic World has won the battle of political commentary. And here everybody thought Fahrenheit 11.9 would be the film to bring Trump down. Okay, nobody thought that, but nevertheless, <laughs> Jurassic World has beaten you to the punch. Oh, thank you so much, writer of Monster Trucks. You have given us a voice. <laughs> they get the dinosaurs to Lockwood's house, somehow not making any noise for Lockwood or his servants to hear. Hey, I guess if they made this dinosaur dungeon an auctioning how house the fuck under did, his nose all the time, How the fuck did this guy make this work all his shit the in, the, in the dude's house and he didn't notice? T-Rex doesn't want to be fat, he wants to hunt. Everybody who made this hates the first movie. Yep. But Lockwood finally finds out. Hey, I guess he does have a little bit of a brain. But, uh... I forgot right. about this. I really think you could get away with it. Pick up that phone. I want you... You to call the police. Oh, hey, Malcolm. What are you up to? Oh, well, I've spent years and years building an aquarium to auction off weaponized killer whales. I've hired a lot of people to transport them, and the bidder should be amazing. No, no, Malcolm, this won't do at all. I need you to call the police and turn yourself in. Well, I guess there's no other way around it. No, not at all. I'm sure once I let all my accomplices know, they'll gladly turn themselves in, too. <laughs> I think that goes without saying. Thank you for setting me straight and bringing my life to a crashing halt. Absolutely, it's the least I could do. Wait, couldn't I kill you? <laughs> no. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> okay, I'm placing the call right now. Spitzbot. Hello, police? Yeah, I've got a whale of a tail for you. <laughs> yeah, that'll be funny in a minute. He's a good kid. So anyway, the bad guy doesn't call the cops and kills Lockwood. Meanwhile, Owen and Claire are found out and captured. Hello. You should have stayed on the island. Grab them by the pussy, man. Build a wall to keep them locked up. The fuck? So, okay, they're locked up in the house. The auction for the dinosaurs is about to begin. Surely this must be the opening of the third act. Nope. We're only at the halfway point. Yeah, there's still a ton of this movie left. Christ, this film would end faster if you just kill them instead of explaining your plan like a James Bond. I the island being the enveloped by the volcano was the halfway point. Nope. What the fuck? Shoot it now! Shoot it now! Maisie ironically uses the trick that the raptors use in the Jurassic Park parody from The Critic, proving this pretty much is a parody of a parody. And even then, it seems pointless because she climbs out of a window a moment later. Well, why did you just Wait, climb out of her bedroom window to save time? No wonder we still have an hour left. Stop writing pointless shit. It's Zola. By the way, there is a small giant climbing up your building. You may want to get that looked at. So the auction begins as all the super villain leaders come to bid on Princeton's garage sale. The Ankylosaurus is a The only reason Claire and uh, Owen get out of the cell is because their next door neighbor is Cranidos. wearing our late Cartaceous fall look, which seems to say to onlookers, I give pointed conversation. Sassy. Owen has an idea, though, for how to get out of their cell. Cranidos! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Now we're screwed. That thing's gonna kill us. Totally gonna kill us. 
Oh, don't worry, I'm sure there's yet another cartoon dumbbell scene that'll save everybody. <laughs> They come across Maisie and quickly earn each other's trust. Look, and now this is the same hallway. And now instead of the Indoraptor cage there, there's like some dumb... What are those things called? Maisie number What's two thing? Lockwood. I always thought it was a weird... Sorry, I'm listening to the video. I'm okay. listening to you at I'll, the same I'll time. bring it up. I'll bring it up. And tell them it's not remember, we can pause it. Because it's only a prototype. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Then why are you showing it? Are you trying to cement your place in the ever-growing dinosaur auction market? I feel like you got the seal on this for a while. 20 million! 41! They bid on it anyway, which once again is a pointless scene because Owen comes in to stop them. Again, you could have cut that and not miss shit. I thought it was funny when Cranidos showed up. For this. Some of you are mighty fine people! Of course, they just open the elevator and he just of starts bopping everybody. The best thing to call it is Coke 3 Asaurus. To what else? Get a tooth for his tooth collection. What follows is amazingly not the stupidest thing in the movie. Ain't I a stinker? She smiled at the camera! She goddamn smiled at the camera! It's official! We're in a Weird Al video! <laughs> we are seconds away from this thing oh just God. straight up talking! It's the same angle. <laughs> I'm gonna get him, kids! What has one arm and is you? You! <laughs> Made Jurassic World great again! Oh, but don't think on top of that you're not getting a wah wah moment too! Oh yeah! <laughs> Whew! Whew! Wah wah! <laughs> we used to make real movies! <laughs> we then get the dumbest, most pointless oh, twist in all the film, and on Do top it, of that, it comes out of nowhere! What is it? The bad guys corner our heroes and, for no reason, just starts talking about this! You have no idea what she is. Lockwood never had a grandchild. He just wanted his daughter back. He made her again. Um... Yeah, that's pretty stupid. Right? Wow! Like hell! Burn. She's alone? What's the point of that? It doesn't connect to anything! And despite being, I guess, a few clues, nobody could have guessed this because it doesn't tie in to any of the character's motivations! It's really dumb. Don't even tell him that! Just shoot them and take her! In fact, why tell Maisie that? What did he think was honestly gonna happen after oh, he God. let her know? That's right, she's a clone. Now, Maisie, come here. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, you were faced by that. Oh, were you? Yeah, no, not at all. You want some ice cream? The little girl's not a bad actress. It's just, oh, it's, funny, right? it's a bad movie. It's a scene that's hard to act out. The evil Dr. Wu. God, that still sounds weird. And the who gives a shit Soros tries to hunt down our heroes as the rest of the movie pretty much just turns into Yoshi's mansion. Remember when they said that Blue has like a great sense of smell? This weaponized killing machine is kind of a dumbass. Right? Literally she's under their nose. Literally under her nose. Exactly. You know she does. She's so goddamn clumsy. You'd swear the scrapbooker <laughs> gave her stocking lessons. <laughs> That's such a good thing. That's such a good well, joke. Use your heightened sense of smell to completely miss that they were right in front of you. A door. Oh well, can't get beyond that. I guess she's the signs aliens. Ooh. Greater idea. Leave the two larger meals who are trapped behind and chase after the smaller morsel running away. One, this thing is gonna have some serious buyer's remorse. Claire's leg is busted up bad, so she urges Owen to go and save Maisie. I can't leave you here. Remember, I dumped you. <laughs> These are pretty and cool looking. Wire music comes back again, totally warranted for such a giant epic image like a raptor on the roof. It's very horror movie esque, which I'm kind of down for. Ah! And we see the kid who figured out this giant evil conspiracy, thwarted the bad guys at every turn, and even managed to outsmart a prehistoric predator, is now hiding under the covers for safety. I forgot she did that. Oh, it's oh that's so dumb. Cloning, they can find ingenious escape routes along dangerous ledges. But think bed sheets are indestructible bomb shelters. <laughs> Honestly, it's almost as bad as our bug with cloning dinosaurs, where even when they find their prey, they just slowly wait their fingers in front of them rather than attack like every other instance. What I'm trying to say is science is stupid. 
But Owen comes in to shoot her, but it doesn't seem to work. So he, A, goes to protect the kid, B, runs out the door behind him, C, grabs the kid and takes her with him through the door behind him, or D, leans up against the wall like a seven-year-old who's dumb enough to hide under bed covers. Yeah, I'm convinced this whole thing is a big budget Johnny Karate episode. <laughs> comes in to see I remember in the so trailer, he shows up, does some shooting, and then he, ca- and he goes, yeah, that's, um, Blue. And then okay. Blue comes into the room like they were fighting together. But it's not in the movie. It's not as safe as the bed sheets, but it'll have to do. Claire somehow climbs the windows as well, despite having a busted leg a second ago, and distracts the soon-to-be-forgotten source long enough for Owen's true love to take her down. Yeah! Matter feeling blue. Oh, you just got blue up! But it looks like a toxic gas is going to kill off what's left of the dinosaurs unless they free them with a giant red cartoony button. A giant red I'm button! Really <laughs> opening a door very seriously. Uh, they decide not to. As in one of the few adult moments of the movie, they realize their love for animals is not worth the countless loss of human life, the mixing of two worlds. Psych! The world is doomed! I had to. So? Just close the door. Only have a big red button to open the door, not a big red button to close the door. If only there was a big red button for the big red button. Who designed this? And what's her dumbass reason for dooming mankind? Never alive. Like me. They're uh, about to kill a lot of little kids like you too. Yeah. Remember at the beginning of the Dominion where it says like 18 so people a year die or something loose in the from dinosaur related incidents? From what used to be the coolest character in the movies, but now it just feels like Porky Pig ending a Looney Tune short. Oh god. That's all, folks. And it looks like Blue has to part ways too. Tell that crazy kid thanks. Whenever I eat a buffet of Girl Scouts, I'll always think of her. So yeah, this movie ends with dinosaurs getting ready to eat up mankind. Would have kind of been cool if this was the movie. It's almost as confusing as where the hell did this one come from? Was she captured in a sea tank that also opened up with the door? No, I didn't. she idea. literally swim all the freaking way to a California beach? Yep. And what's even more confusing is apparently we're supposed to have sympathy for our adorable angel of death. But all I can think about is Malcolm McDowell describing Michael Myers. These are the a psychopath. <laughs> in the end, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom pulls it all together because of this incredibly spelled out lesson. There are lies like me. <laughs> Which goes against this incredibly spelled out lesson. These creatures were here before us, and if we're not careful, they're going to be here after. Which doesn't really match up with this incredibly spelled out lesson. These creatures don't need our protection. They need our absence. But at least we can all agree. But soon they're going to have to watch them go extinct. Or not. If people like you make a difference. It's like when we have a lot of messages that say opposite things were incredibly complex. Or really transparent we couldn't decide on what message we wanted. This movie's awful! I'll give credit that the effects are pretty good, much better than This chair sucks, movie. man. I don't know how you sit in it all the time. I'll give credit it's kind of a so bad it's good. You have a sensitive butt. butt. I mean, they just is. constantly throw stupid I'm shit after stupid shit at you. I'm more cakey than you. I got more cushion. Spits in your face. Did you just say you're fatter than me? I said I got more cake. I'm more cakey. I got more cake. I got to do more squats. But also made some semblance of sense and gave us something new and different. Instead, we pretty much got the worst of all the other Jurassic Park movies. All the weaknesses, none of the strengths, everything that didn't work in those past films is showcased in this one. It's stupid, it's corny, it's pretentious, and it's preachy. Even though half of the time it doesn't know what it's preachy about. I don't care if it made money. To me, this is a Jurassic flop. Now with the next Jurassic Park sequel, everything is correctable. John, box office is a matter of sheer will. Well, it's still a flea circus. It's all an illusion. When we have a better script... What are they eating? We had a script! That's the illusion! We You're were overwhelmed by the first film, but now all that matters is not having another alien covenant. Mm-hmm. Um, welcome to Jurassic Covenant. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Oh, yeah. I'm the nostalgia critic, and... 
I'll see you at Jurassic World, The Legend of Curly's Gold. For fuck's sake. God, that movie's terrible. I remember when I left the cinema, I thought that that was the worst Jurassic Park movie. It's not. It, JP3 is, 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 I think, the worst. But not by much. JP3 is at least short. Like this one is a close second. This is a very close second. At least JP3 is short. It's only like an hour and a half. This movie is too long. It's bad. Imagine if in the conversation, Blue's still out there. You're just going to let her die? Well, yeah. Credits. I just Anakin, Piff, Chancellor, Palpatine is evil. Oh, shit. You're right. My bad. Credits. I, I can't believe, like, did, can we talk about how, like, Blue's not even in Dominion at all? What? Blue's barely in Dominion. Shows up is like you just said it all, and then you just change it to barely. I'm 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 summarizing basically. No, I'm making an outlandish. No, thing. you're. I'm 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 exaggerating. No, you're not. You, what, you think I'm being technical? You okay. literally said at all, and that means yep, not in the okay. movie, not even for a second. She might as well not be She's barely in the movie. She's like a deadbeat pa parent who loses her child, and is like, go get my child back, and then that's it. And then there's little blue. Let's call her. <laughs> let's, let's call her Sky Blue. <laughs> what are you reading? I enjoyed precisely one thing in this film. Chris Pratt, method acting, a man with all four limbs asleep, trying to flop his way from a lava. It's fucking hilarious. Method acting. He, that's so dumb, though. He should be on fire. Uh, mm. He's a lot closer than Anakin was when he caught fire. And Oh, yeah. Uh, you were the chosen one, Blue! <laughs> Dinosaur. I hate you. Uh, these characters are just bad. They're just bad and inconsistent. Can we talk about how somehow there's more Jurassic Park movies than there are Scream movies? Is that supposed to be weird? I just think it's very... I, I mean, see, well, for horror movies, it feels like, like a lot of movies is just commonplace. Like there's like 10 Friday the 13th movies or something, or 10 Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Meanwhile, there's six, and they're just bad. Emily and I were talking about like just frustrating movies, and this is one of them. That and Venom. Venom was frustrating, too. Venom wasn't as bad as this. It was not as bad as this. Say something. Uh, Venom was boring. At least this had like stuff going on. This, is, this might be worse than Venom. But at least there's stuff going on, you know what I mean? In Venom, he fights... Well, I wonder if we're going to see a nostalgic critic for uh, the second Venom movie. We, we might. And he did, which I haven't, which I still haven't seen, by the way. He did Morbius, by the way. I believe it. I heard it was horrible. It's Morbin time. He my, never says that. I know. It might, it might be the most famous quote from a movie that's not actually in the movie. Where did it come from? Oh, God. And this stupid red button to open the doors, and you can't close them after they open? Jace, let me tell you something. What happens when you push the button to your garage door? If it's open, it closes. No, okay. What, okay, let's say it's closed. Let's say it's closed. What happens when you push it? It opens. What happens when you push it again? It closes. You can't do this for the fucking dinosaurs. It's so dumb. This is a secure door that probably takes time to close and open. Let me ask you something. This reminds me, like in, like in prison movies, there's like that, whenever like there's a big prison escape, there's the button that like opens all the cells. Right. If you work in a prison, let me ask you something. Is that a real button? The button that opens all the cells and everyone can, so everyone can get out? I, I'd imagine there'd have to be something for like an emergency in case there's like an explosion or a fire. But like, is that a real, that can't be a real button. And then I did like the, I don't even remember what it's called. I just keep calling it Crany Dose. Because that's exactly, it looks like the Pokemon. I don't care what you I liked, call it. I liked that. I liked the, the stuff with that. I thought it was funny, even though it was dumb. Just because it was with a new dinosaur. It wasn't in fucking Velociraptors anymore, or T-Rexes. There are so many kills in this movie with the T-Rex, where it's like, how did you not see the T-Rex? And when the big dinosaur is coming at them, and then it gets chomped on by the T-Rex, I'm like, it didn't, it didn't know the T-Rex was coming. Or uh, the bad guy, when he's like picking up his stuff. And then gets munched on by the T-Rex. I'm like, how did it sneak up on you? By the, and it's in like, it only works with the power of like cameras. Because the way, because we as the audience don't see the T-Rex. But from where he's standing, he should see the T-Rex. I'd actually be down for like his uh, Dominion review. Because Dominion wasn't 
terrible. It was be- it was definitely better than Fallen Kingdom. Mm-hmm. It was dumb, but I mean. <laughs> okay, can you say can you say anything good about any movie? For I said say. I have to acknowledge that it was dumb. No, you it don't was... have to acknowledge shit. I, I swear to God, every single time I'm watching this, to call, you saw this great movie. You can't fucking applaud anything. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I applaud shit all the time. We watched we watched Spider Man movies. We watched the Terminator movies. We watched Batman. Fucking Batman. We watched the Nostalgia Critic for No Way Home. I had good things to say about No Way Home. Let's wrap yeah, it up. Bro. Everyone had good things to say about No Way Home. Yeah, I know. I mean, come on, for that movie, our ex- our expectations were high, but holy shit. Let's wrap it up. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Josh. I'm Jason. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.